There you go guys, scooty, fuel, air, air, right. Yes, the gas, oh, very nice. But I'm going somewhere today. Uh, let me see if I can get there. Then I'm gonna vlog it, but it's a little bit of my past. Good morning, Dabao! I have a new route today. I don't know whether it's going to work out. I really haven't got a clue. So, let us have a little journey, shall we? Oh, so this is a new road. Just been completed, as you can see. And it's going, it's the back route to Matina, yeah, uh, Tukanu I think it's called, Tukanu, half the store, property to rent, yeah it's a bouncy bouncy road to start with, I'm a little bit hungry. I'm a little bit hungry, this feeling inside. Oh, let's uh, do the okie cookie and turn around. Oh, well, there we go, it's a lovely day. Somebody's selling knickknacks on the side of the road. Okay, so yesterday I was, uh, I was on Google Maps and I found something quite interesting because, and I don't know whether it's true, um, but somebody sent me a message about a place to go go to and I was like oh okay no problem at all and they messaged me the directions from their phone and what I noticed was because they'd used the uh, find this place from their home address it actually sent me the directions from that person's home address which it's a bit disturbing really isn't it that you can go onto Google's Maps and if you can get a message or you can see the comments you can enter the comments and if they've used the map to find somewhere then you can find where that person lives. Oh! That's uh, bizarre, isn't it? I was like, looking at that thinking, well, how do you stop that? And I don't think you can, really. I think once you commit to Google Maps and it says on there directions, and, it's, uh, and you save it to your uh, messenger, then it's your home address, end address, route, put to bed, move on, and uh, very scary, very scary in this world of uh, people turning up on your doorsteps, how do they find it? Well, Google give you all the information, you just help them by using their maps to uh, find places you want to go to. I think what you need to do is delete the map, so uh, I'm not using the map today. I'm just going off the top of my head. But, and we know what happens when I turn around and take directions from the top of my head. I get lost. Yeah, I do. I get lost. So I don't even know the name of this, uh, this town. Auto for oil. It is a very hot day today again, but it's got a nice little breeze to it. You know, not, not really, really crazy. You can see the clouds in the distance. It's going to be a storm this afternoon. Every afternoon it uh, rains, like it did yesterday. I blogged those guys dancing and washing out, in the, uh, out on the road yesterday. That was quite amusing, really. They did get upset when they found I was blogging them, but I did ask, and they said yes. 
So NCC is there. Maybe, maybe this is uh, Kabatian. Kabatian. So, uh, lots of jeepneys out. It's a little bit busier than I thought it was going to be today on a Monday. thought everybody would be in the bank sorting out their lives. Um, I was very surprised this morning I went to my bank and uh, the cash machine is working and they've actually got cash in it. So, uh, scary, scary. Oh, this is Cataluna. Uh, so I did get it wrong. There's the bus stop there. So, uh, next to the basketball court. So I suppose I'm going to find Cataluna Grande out here somewhere. I don't know what this guy in this... Uh, Silver thing he's doing, apart from blocking the roads. Uh, maybe he's in the same he's lost. It's an old, old house is here on the side of the road, isn't there? No. Dimples. Oh, very nice smell there. It smells like barbecued fish. Very nice, it's some lime, it's a nice and light. A bit of soy, uh, a hint of chilli. Okay, so, out in the countryside. Stop, Covid-19 checkpoint. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that truck. Pull over, just pull out. Da 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 I think they've been trying to build over here for quite a long time now and they're not, well they're getting there slowly but it's becoming more of a uh, out of town uh, living area some of the some of the places or some of the little houses they've been finished but they're going back to nature so grass is growing up the outside and around the outside the thing is you have to look after properties here in the Philippines because as soon as it rains the, the greenery the fauna it's like it's on steroids yeah you can mow your lawn on a Sunday and it will rain overnight you come out the next day and it looks like you haven't mowed your lawn it's just that crazy it's that the trees and the vegetation just goes rampant yeah it just oh beggars belief really but anyway you have to keep on top of it I think that's why a lot of people spray down some chemicals to keep the green stuff down and just walk on like the soil but it does uh, it does go nuts when it rains but uh, anyway let's have a oh itchy leg maybe mosquitoes I don't know let that Motorola pass me don't want him giving me any grief when I come to the bottom of this hill Dogs, God almighty dogs. The dogs across the road last night were all over the place. They were there barking, barking for about three hours. Yeah, didn't get much sleep. There must be something on the market that you can buy that will just keep the dogs quiet. But there must have been 20 dogs outside last night barking and barking because I think the, the other bitch dog was uh, on heat so all the male dogs outside yeah were out there with their little bits all standing to attention ready to do the business but she wouldn't let anybody in
You okay there, darling? Buy some, darling. It's only paint gold, darling. <laughs> Why are you taking it seriously? <laughs> it's just a joke. After six hours, <gasps> we have just got the Christmas tree done. There we go. I thought it was a picture. It is, darling. It's I'm a going picture. <laughs> you going to going to sleep? <laughs> Come on, little Santa, one of our little helpers. <laughs> well, I'm there the elf. <laughs> You're the elf, darling. Yeah. Elf. The elf. I know. If you were a little bit smaller, I could put you on the top of the Christmas tree. Yeah? <laughs> You're picking up with my height now. Ah. 